Hey everybody, how are you doing? Good to see you today. Um, I was excited to be able to hop on for a little while today. I wasn't able to um, yesterday in the normal Saturday slot. Um, my wife and I were actually out of town. I was real. I was. I'm really tired today because we got back um, super super late um, last night. Um, but we went to a concert, it was really great. Hello, Happy, oh, good to see you, hey. Um, we went to a concert, it was really, really fun. Um, the situation around the concert and the venue and all of that was <laughs> horrible. <laughs> but the concert itself was wonderful, I had a great time. Um, anyway, we're back and I'm excited um, because we are gonna do some more EV training today. I did a little bit off screen. I am doing okay, Happy. Yeah, I was just saying, I, uh, I'm just really tired today. Um, but it's, it's a pretty, pretty chill Sunday. Just, you know, errands and stuff and, uh, doing a little bit of this. How you doing? You're excited too. Heck yes. Um, so I was, uh, doing a little bit of EV grinding off screen. Um, just to get uh, the squad up just a few more levels. As you can see, we were in like at like seven and eight, and here we're at 14, 15. Um, also, um, you're doing good, love to hear it. Ziggy here, um, last time I was grinding the EVs, found a King's Rock. I think that's like really rare for that to happen, especially for a Linoon that's only at level 24. I'm pretty sure that's very rare. So that's really cool. Oh, um, because one thing about Emerald that's different than Ruby and Sapphire, I don't know if I pointed this out yet. In Ruby and Sapphire, um, a Zigzagoon at like level four can find like rare candies and Ultra Balls and really good stuff. But in Emerald, they kind of nerfed that to make it like so the good items scale by level. So there's like a way higher chance of finding a really good item like a rare candy if you're at a high level, um, but uh, less of a chance if you're at a low level, which is really interesting. I don't know if I've said that before or not. Um, <laughs> yes, it's the baby team. Um, but we are here in a really great spot because, oh, love when the ash falls down. This is a great place to train our Starmie because we need those special attack EVs. And on this route, you can find Slugmas and Spindas. And both of those will give out some special attack IVs. So it is a great place for us to train our Starmie. <sighs> Oh, and I don't know if I pointed this out before. You'll notice when we see all of these spindas that we're gonna knock out, so many of these spindas have different patterns. Like, the next spinda we find will have a different pattern than this one. I don't know exactly how many there are. I don't know if it's infinite or not. I don't think it could be. Um, but there are tons and tons and tons and tons of different pattern spinda, just subtly different, which is delightful. Unfortunately, we are outsped because we have the Macho Brace on, but that's okay. Perfect. Oh, let me make sure I'm keeping track. There we go. Um, another great thing that we can do um, on this route... Oh, there's a Skarmory. We don't need a Skarmory. It's all right. Um, another great thing we can do on this route is you can see all this ash. Here we have the soot sack. And what you can do is you can collect the soot from the grass and you can use it to craft items um, like flutes. They're like glass flutes and each one has a different power. Like uh, specifically, I know one, like the poke flute, for example, wakes you up. Um, but I think it's called something different in this game. It might be the White Flute, I'm not exactly sure, but... Um, yes, so we can do that and maybe create some good items that way as we are EV training Starmie. Uh, Starmie. I got mixed up there for a second. Starmie sounded wrong because I had just run into Skarmory here. So I'm like, Skarmie! <laughs> um, there we go. 
And as you can see, this one's not super different, but like the spot that was directly on the other Spinda's eye is like a little bit up here. Um, and some of them will look way different as we go. I'm pretty sure we can knock these out in one surf now, which makes me happy. Oh, not quite. The level 14 ones we can, which is good. Um, once Starmie gets to the point where we're not taking as many hits, it'll be way easier. There we go. Boom, boom, bop, doo, 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 doo. Yeah, see, there you go. Now they're like both, the spots are both above its eye, a little different on its ears. Um, really nice little detail on Spinda. We might be able to knock out some of the level 15 ones. Yes, we can. Sounds good to me. Ah. So yeah, now we're just kind of uh, in the monotonous grind of getting all of our EVs um, on Starmie, Beldum, and Bagon. Um, one thing, I do kind of want to show you guys something else as well. Let's see. Oops, that is wrong. Oh wait, no, no, it's not. We're good. I was losing track. I'm gonna change this. Because on my little chart here, I have it written as star you, and we are star me, and that confused me. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's a few other little things I want to show off today as we go. And here's a slugma. Um, I believe we outspeed a slugma at this point. Can one water gun do it? Let's see. It can! Oh, you're really enjoying the team building activities. I love that. Um, I'm glad, because it can be a little bit, you know, repetitive, but it can also be uh, nice and zen and relaxing to do something kind of monotonous like this. Um, oh yeah, we're a little weak here, aren't we? Ooh, faint attack. Is that going to kill? I don't remember. It will! Oh, it's a crit. How sad. Um, that's okay. So what we can do... Last patch of grass. Um, it's a Scarberry anyway. We're not gonna fight that. Or, or are we? Oh wait, no, that's defense. Beldum can't knock out a Scarberry. It's only at level 14. And only knows, uh... Am I gonna have to swap out to be able to run? Okay, good. <laughs> Uh, it is nice to have a nice little chill and chat. You're correct. I appreciate that, Happy. Um, but another great thing is we have this little house. We have the little grandma house here where she can heal us and we can just be right back on our way um, for Starmie. Lovely. Um, one thing that I will do as well, let's see what you got, Ziggy. Another X attack, lovely. Um, I want to be able to buy a few um, vitamins today. Because that will really expedite the process a little bit. Um, because if your EVs are under 100, you will get 10 in that stat when you use a vitamin, which is cool. Oh, you're cooking dinner. What are you cooking for dinner? Uh, my wife and I are cooking chicken piccata tonight, which is a favorite of ours. Um, there we go. Again, it's just so funny to me that people thought Slugma was a Generation 3 Pokemon because it's just not featured in Crystal at all. I've, I've probably mentioned that a million times, but that's just so funny. There we go. Oh, an Indian dish called uh, biryani. I don't care. Uh, I do not know it. I don't know much about Indian cuisine at all. Um, uh, what is it? Biryani. Yeah, my, my wife and I aren't a spiced meat and rice dish. I mean, that's... You, you can't really go wrong with that. Um, 
my wife and I aren't like the biggest Indian food fans. Um, oh yeah, this spinda's just got a big blotch right in the middle of its face. Um, oh, <laughs> that's okay. Um, hold on, I'm gonna Google it. Biryani. Um, biryani. Oh, sure. That looks nice. Oh, I'd eat that. Yeah, that is great. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're usually not the biggest Indian food fans, but, you know, maybe we'll, maybe we can give that one a try. Um, it's really funny, because we, uh, in the apartment complex, complex, where we live, there are a lot of Indian folks that live here as well, and a lot of times when we're on walks and stuff, we can just... Uh, smell the curry cooking as we walk by. There we go. This is such a good spot for Starmie. Um, and it, again, once we get to a little bit of a higher level here, we're gonna be cooking with gas. Um, butter chicken and naan. Yes, I have heard of butter chicken. Um, is biryani really spicy? Oh, and we outspeed now, too, even with the macho brace. That is great. Perfection. At least the low-level spin this. <laughs> we Indians do love our curries. I mean, hey. Um, that is just not a food that I grew up with, so... Um, it's just not as uh, appealing to me. But that's just my... You know, uh, my white Midwest palate <laughs> in the United States. Um, do 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 do. And this spin has got no spots. Yeah, some I don't. Uh, again, I don't know how many like variations of Spinda there are. Um, ooh, that one must have pretty good special defense. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna look this up. How many variations of Spinda there in Emerald? Um, oh! Okay. So, hold on, I gotta keep keeping track of stuff. Um, so according to what I just Googled, there are apparently... 4,294,967,296 different variations of Spinda. <laughs> so this is probably number like 3,341,776,289. Uh, um, That's the variation of Spinda that this one is. And then there's a bunch more. <laughs> That is such a cool little thing that they did for Spinda. I like that a lot. Um, but we are going to just smoke this fool. Um, oh, and we're outspeeding the level 15 one. Oh, guys. We're cooking with gas now. Yeah, that is insane. Um, oh, okay. So it is not spicy, but it's spiced. It does have the chili spice. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that sounds really good. Because I like things that are spicy, but not, like, punishingly so. Um, because some things I'm just like, I'm not even enjoying myself. This is so hot. I don't, I don't know if you're familiar with Hot Ones or not. Um, the YouTube series where they interview people with spicy wings. Um, you ain't. You are. <laughs> you am. <laughs> uh, love it. Oh, I do too. It's great. Um, but one time for Christmas, I believe, my wife, forgive me if I've mentioned this before, um, but my wife got all of the spices from Hot Ones, or spices, uh, sauces from Hot Ones, and uh, we did like a little interview um, and some of my friends, uh, some of our friends watched, 
Um, and it was super, super fun. And we tried all of the sauces. I know, just gotta get famous now and I'll be able to do it for real. Um, but I will say, once you get to sauce like five, at least several years ago when we did this, um, once you get to sauce number five, that's like really when it kicks up. Um, da Bomb, Beyond Insanity, was the worst thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> I hated it so much. It was so terrible. Okay, nice critical hit, Starmie. That's a big one. All right, so we're gonna just... I think we have a super potion in the, in the bag here. Yeah, we don't have that many potions anymore. Um because I've spent a ton of money on just other junk. All right, Ziggy. Oops. What you got? The Repel. Just a regular old Repel. Classic Repel. Um, yeah, I mean, you can do it. I don't know how much it costs to buy all of them. Um, but uh, yeah, you should give it a try, because even though the bomb is terrible, um, it's still, like, a cool, fun thing to do. Um, and it, you can just say you tried it. And it, I mean, it was, it was a cool experience. And then, like, we had all of our friends try it, and they also died. Um, it was, it was fun. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was, it, it, it was really cool. Like that show a lot. Oh. But yeah, my wife and I, we make a lot of, we make a lot of Italian food. We're very, very big pasta fans, you know. Um, do, 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 do. Ah, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot you were in Poland. Um, yeah, I guess that would be a bit different. Um, sometimes I kind of take being in America for granted. Because, um, you know, there are obviously some things that are in other countries that we don't really get in America, but so much kind of, like, culture and stuff is influenced by America um, globally. Just like, you know, like movies and entertainment, specifically. Um, oh, yeah. Do you have a... Uh, do you have a specific pasta that you that is a go-to for for y'all? Do do ba do do do. We're just smacking spindas. Bolognese, ooh, or pesto. Pesto is very hit or miss for me. Um, I, uh, I do like it, um, but sometimes it's just, like, a bit too aggressive of a flavor. I don't know what it is. Um, I wanted to hop in here, because we can talk to this guy, like I said, and when we collect enough ash from the grass, we can make an item, like I was saying. So here we can make the blue flute, yellow flute, red flute, white flute, white flute, black flute, and then, uh, I think these are for our secret base. And I forget what all of these flutes do, but they can, like, um, cure a specific status. Um, like, I think one of them wakes you up. Um, one of them might keep wild Pokemon away, if I'm not mistaken. Um, they all do different things. So it's really, really cool, and you can create whatever flute you want if you collect enough ash, which is delightful. Um, I'm actually going to look up what these do. Um... Yes. What does each flute do? Let's see. Okay, so the black flute does reduce wild Pokemon. Blue flute wakes up. Uh, red flute snaps Pokemon out of infatuation. I thought so. Um, excuse me. White flute increases the wild Pokemon encounter rate. And yellow flute snaps Pokemon out of confusion. That is so cool. Um... I'm gonna make one. Uh, what one am I gonna make? I can't really use these in the Battle Frontier, but I mean, if we're collecting Ash, I might as well do it. I'll go ahead and do the blue one. Haha. -ha. 
Okay. So, yeah, this just goes in our regular item pocket. Yes, it does. Okay, great. Um, oh, sorry. I didn't even see your comment. We went for the blue one. <laughs> um, it, it is funny because I don't think I'll really be able to use them in the Battle Frontier. Um, but, like I said, while we're at it, might as well, huh? Um, collecting all this ash. I am probably going to need to stop over at the Pokemon Center to give Skarmory, not Skarmory, Starmie, a little heal. Um, so yes, yeah, uh, Starmie's special attack EVs are really getting up there now. I'm at 76 on Starmie. So once I get to around 200 in our like specific uh, main stats that we want to go for, um, that will be kind of the marker. Because again, we can go for... 510 total EVs for each Pokemon. So, I want to see how much this sells for. $50, okay. Because that would have been really nice if this was like something you could sell. We can just keep collecting Ash and just keep making more and just have infinite money. Um, let's see... Oh, okay. Um, that's totally fine, Happy. Um, I have not watched a lot of the Pokemon anime. Um... I have always stuck with the games. I've always played those as I've gotten older. Um, but just other Pokemon media and stuff, I'm not as familiar with, like the anime. Um, I kind of stopped watching the anime early Johto, pretty much. So I, I pretty much only watched, like, the original um, kind of Kanto journeys. I, I mean, I've seen stuff here and there. Movies here and there, episode or two of some stuff. Um... But, uh, yeah, I haven't watched, haven't watched much of the anime. I mean, when you consider there's, like, over a thousand episodes, I have watched very little, <laughs> percentage-wise. Um, but how old am I? I am 31. So, I was, you know, I've been here since the beginning. My, I remember specifically, like, a co-worker of my mom gave her a tape, a VHS tape, that had, I think, like, the first three episodes of the Pokemon anime, the English dub, of course. Um, and I remember watching that and being super hooked on that, and I had a lot of those tapes that had, like, three episodes apiece on it. Um, I think a lot of people my age will remember those. And, uh... That is one of the reasons I got so hooked on Pokemon, and then from there, I started playing the games, and obviously love playing them. <laughs> I still play them. They are so comfortable and warm and fun for me, and I mean, no matter how many times I've played them and how many years it's been. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how I started off as a Pokemon fan, and just kind of stuck with it. And I know a lot of people kind of have my story as well. A lot of people my age. Um, I remember... Uh, I remember being in high school and uh, really wanting to, like, like, go home and play the game. Specifically, when I got, like, Diamond, Pearl, and, like, Platinum, I was like, I just want to go home and play. And I was keeping it a secret, or trying to, um, from all of my friends, because I didn't want people to think I was lame. Um, but, you know, you grow up and you become an adult and you realize that it doesn't really matter that much. It doesn't really matter that much. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, so we're very close in age. Just turned 28. Wonderful. Um, ah, watching Pokemon's everyday ritual for you. Come back from school, change, watch the anime while we ate something. Oh, sounds like a great ritual. I love that. Um, but, uh, ah, Beyblade and Digimon. I watched very little Digimon. Um, I, rem I think I had one tape, again, of Digimon. And, uh... That was all I ever watched. I, it's not that I didn't like it. Um, I just, I just never, I just didn't stick with it. Um, 
Uh, and Beyblade, I never watched the show, but around like third or fourth grade, my friends and I were super into like battling Beyblades, like uh, actual real life, uh, the, the tops. Um, and that was super fun. And we were like putting extra weight discs on our uh, Beyblade to just make them hit harder. And that was cool. We liked that a lot. Um, but yeah, for me, and you know, if you're familiar with, uh, the channel, I really enjoy, um, I really enjoyed Yu-Gi-Oh! early on. Um, like those, those first two seasons of Yu-Gi-Oh! and playing the card game early on, um, I loved. And we're kind of close to finishing our playthrough of that Yu-Gi-Oh! game for the Game Boy Advance, um, but, uh, yeah, I would say, because Pokemon was the main one, and I guess, like, because it was, like, Pokemon, and then you had Digimon, Beyblade, Yu-Gi-Oh!, those were kind of, like, the branches of fandom that we had, um, and, uh, I went down the Yu-Gi-Oh! road, at least for a while, um, uh, but let's see... You know the Pokemon theme song in English and Hindi. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I love that. Um, it was so funny. Because my wife... Um, she was coming up... This was, wait, year, years and years ago. She was coming up with, like, a funny... Just, like, little anniversary idea. And she was just like, What if I, like, uh, set, like, a funny song to... Uh, something that Trent likes, or like a parody song of something of Trent likes, and she was asking her roommate at the time, she was just like, does Pokemon have like, like a theme song? <laughs> or something. Which shows you how much my wife knows about it. And her roommate was just like, did you just ask if Pokemon has a theme song? <laughs> Pokemon has like, the theme song. Um, but uh, it was just really funny, and she made me like a really, really cute, really awesome little parody song. Um, let's see. Ah, you had some of the cards as well, but never got into the card game as much. Yes. I, um, my cousin and I, we were really, really close growing up. And, um, so I, I had someone to duel with a lot, which was great. Um, and uh, that's how we really got into the cards. But again, at, it, it was really just those first two seasons of, of the anime with, like, you know, Yugi and Kaiba and Joey and them. Um, that's what I really enjoyed. Um, there we go. We're up to 100 special attack EVs on Starmie. Um, and, uh... Yeah, and the cards, I kind of stopped collecting... Probably the last set I opened up as a kid was, like, Dark Crisis, if any Yu-Gi-Oh! fans out there are familiar. Um, kind of like the Dark Crisis Invasion of Chaos-like era. Um, those were, like, the last sets I ever opened up. Um, but my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! sets... I know everyone's uh, dying to know. My favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! sets were probably Metal Raiders... And, uh, Labyrinth of Nightmare. Those were really cool. Labyrinth of Nightmare had the Gemini Elf. Uh, Metal Raiders had the Gate Guardian, which is the coolest thing of all time. Um, but my favorite cards, uh, those who watch the Yu-Gi-Oh! streams will know, were the Black Luster Soldier and Jinzo. So sick. So sick. Oh yes, it was Adorbs. Um, let's see. Pokemon Beyblade was pretty popular in India. Um, oh, okay. Interesting. So, did you grow up in India and now you live in Poland? Is that kind of the deal? Yep, yep, yep. Love to hear it. Um, yeah, I was pretty, uh, just born and raised here in the United States. I've only ever been out of the United States a handful of times. Um, and by handful, I mean literally two. Um, 
when I was in college, we went to London for a while, which was really awesome. We did like a study abroad thing, and that's like just etched in my heart forever. Um, and then my wife and I, for our honeymoon, we went to Mexico, and it was really fun. Um, but other than that, not been out of the con not been out of the country. I've never even been to Canada, which is crazy. Um, because we live in Ohio, we're actually really close to Canada. Um, we could pretty easily go to Toronto if we wanted to. So it's 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 on our list. Um, oh wow, spent a whole chunk of your life in India. Did your masters in London? Awesome. Um, we were staying by Regent's Park um, when we were when we were there. Um, I don't remember what neighborhood that is. Um, but, uh, and then you went to Poland. Did you go to Poland for work? Do -do -do. Do -do. Or did you just want to move to Poland? I don't know what Poland's like. Maybe it's just uh, the destination to go. Our last surf. We're going to have to heal. Just collecting ash and, tra and train in Skarmory. Scar I keep calling Starmy Skarmory. <laughs> uh, oh, great. You work in Poland. What what do you do, Happy? Have I asked you this before? And I just don't remember. Um, there we go. I guess I could teach um, Starmie all the TMs we're going to teach it here. Um, I hadn't really thought about that, but it could maybe make uh, grinding these EVs a little easier. Um, let's see. So I'm definitely going to teach it Thunderbolt. So I'll, I'll go ahead and teach it Thunderbolt. Um, Psychic is still... Still, I don't know. Um, I might do... Psychic could go on Metagross. I don't know. I don't know if that makes as much sense or not, but ugh. Graphic designer, creative director. Oh my goodness, that is wonderful. Um, uh, do you enjoy that? Because I've always, like... I've considered maybe uh, doing something like that. Um, and by considered, I mean lightly thought about. <laughs> um, because I have a theater degree. I was, uh, I was an actor for years. Um, still kind of am. I still audition here and there. I've talked about it before, but... Um, <laughs> yes and no, TVH. Um, yeah, what are the, what are the, uh, pros and cons of, uh, of graphic design? ba do 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 um, so this is exciting here. Um, uh, you only get one of these TMs in, in this game, or at least of many of them, and we have our precious, precious Thunderbolt TM. And the reason I've been saving it this whole time is that it's gonna go right on Starmie here. Harry Jr. wants to learn Thunderbolt. Um... And here, I'll just get rid of Tackle. Lovely. Ah. Great. Another step toward our final move set. Um, yeah, so I... I'm kind of just putting off, like, finalizing the move sets until we're, like, ready to start challenging the uh, battle facilities. Just because I have anxiety and I know you only get, like, one copy of each TM and I don't want to mess it up. Um, but I think I think we can actually get an extra Thunderbolt um, from the game corner, if I'm not mistaken. We just have to grind a lot of money. Um, ah, sometimes you feel like it's not as fun because your survival depends on it. Yes, yes, yes. That's the age-old. That's the age-old thing. I definitely know what you mean. Um, oh, there's a lot of competition. So do you work like freelance? Um... Because, I, I mean, you know, I know some people can do just design for a company. Um, 
Yes, you do. Yes. That tracks. That tracks. And I mean, that's a huge, with a capital, emboldened, underline, <laughs> H. Um, that's a huge drawback of being an actor, for sure. Um, and, uh... One of the things I found of being an actor professionally is that it oftentimes doesn't make as much of a difference how good you are, um, which is something that they kind of tell you um, when you're trying to do it, but it's one thing to be told it um, and another thing to experience it, and it can really, uh, it can be very disheartening, um, and it feels like a lot of things are out of your control. Um, so I feel like at this point in my creative life, I'm trying to do a lot more, um, just, um, creative things that I can control, um, and don't need to rely on permission from other people to do. Um, but, you know, there's pros and cons of that as well. Um, oh, the language is, is another con. Um... Uh, like, what do you, like, what do you mean? Um, is it that, like, they want things in, uh, not your native language? Is that kind of what you mean? Or a lot of companies will, or clients, I should say. <laughs> you watch Kiki's Delivery Service, that's nice. I've never seen Kiki's Delivery Service. Polish versus English, okay. Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. Um, uh, yeah, I've never seen Kiki's Delivery Service. I haven't seen that many Miyazakis. Um, really, the next big one on my list is I really want to watch Princess Mononoke. I know people love that one. Um, I really enjoyed The Boy and the Heron um, that came out last year. I enjoyed that one a lot. Um... But overall, Miyazaki stuff has been a bit more hit and miss for me. Let's see. But yes, Polish versus English, that... That would be annoying. It's, it's interesting because... Europe is just so much different because... There are so many, like, smaller countries close together that seem to, like... I don't know, intermingle a lot more. Whereas in the United States, it's just kind of like a big, giant place where most people, if not everyone, essentially speaks English. Um, ah, your top fave is Spirited Away. That is actually interesting um, because my wife and I watched that one and we just, I don't know, maybe, maybe we just weren't feeling it that day, but I, it just didn't give me... Didn't give me the vibe I wanted. I don't know what it was. Um, there was obviously some really cool stuff and like some really cool imagery um, in Spirited Away. Um, and I feel like that's a lot of what Miyazaki's stuff is. It's a bit more, a bit more abstract, I guess, than like a Western audience might be used to. Um, oh, Polish is difficult to catch on. I believe that. I certainly believe that. Um, as far as language learning, I, uh, I pretty much just have English. <laughs> um, I have been, like, lightly trying to learn Japanese for a while. And I say that all the time. Um, and you know, I know a lot more than I did than when I started. Um, like, I could maybe, I could maybe fumble my way around, uh, a train station in Tokyo. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, learning a new language at this point in my life is, is, is tough. And honestly, it never really stuck for me, even in, like, high school and college when I was taking language courses. Because I took courses in French when I was in high school. I took courses in Italian when I was in college. I kind of wish that I would have known that I wanted to study Japanese earlier on. What does Thunderbolt do here? Oh! First blessed use of Thunderbolt. There we go. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I mean, we're getting all that special, that, that tasty special attack. 
Um, so we are just going to be smoking fools. Um, ah, yes, you're okay at new languages. Know a few local languages in India. Know a bit of conversational French, too. Dang, man. That's cool. Um, I am, I am envious. Um, but, uh, that's really awesome. <laughs> Polish is kicking your butt. I mean, hey, it would, uh, fully knock me out in round one. Um, if I was trying to learn Polish. That Thunderbolt! That Thunderbolt. It looks so good in this game. Um, I've said all the time, yes, the animation. Um, when I was a kid, like, the attack animation was such a big thing for me. Um, and specifically, like, the jump in quality from the attack animations just from Gen 1 to Gen 2, like, blew my mind. It was awesome. It was so cool. Um, all right. We'll just keep using some Thunderbolts. Help us save on surfs. Um, all right. So we are really uh, cruising and grooving with Starmie here. Um, we have 142 special attack IVs, or EVs rather. Um, and uh, ba -ba -ba -da. once we get to about 200, I'll probably pivot a little bit. Um, we might do just something else really quick. Um, and I know I want to get some more speed EVs, so I'll go to a place where I can better farm those speed EVs. Um, because I'm pretty sure this route is like the best spot in the game to train for special attack. Um, at least on the limited online research that I've done. But let's make another flute. We should have enough soot, I imagine. So we've made the blue one. Why, you help me pick, uh, Happy. Which one are we making this time? Oh, okay, we made the blue one. Oh, your first time playing Emerald directly after yellow. Very interesting. Oh my gosh, that's a huge jump. Oh, that's amazing. Um, that's great. Yeah, because I have just went, I have just gone in, you know, generation order. Um in my experience. Um, but yeah, going from yellow to emerald is like huge. Going from, you know, gen two to gen three is huge. Um, but uh, I'll just uh, I'll just go down the line here. I'll just make the yellow flute. Absolutely. I'm curious if I have enough ashes to make <laughs> another one. <laughs> um, I very well might. Oh, not enough. Okay. Oh, okay. Easy peasy. Um, great. Let's just keep chugging along. Uh, plus, the music on this route is just incredible. It is absolutely delightful in every way. Alright, that puts us up to 148. Do, All right, so we are to the point now where we are outspeeding everything. Um, we are one-shotting everything. Um, really nice. Yeah, because I was kind of like impatient trying to get to that point um, earlier on. Da, 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 da. Uh, let's see. Oh, <laughs> your strategy was just to spam the anime's most popular moves. I mean, hey. That wasn't a that wasn't a bad strat, not a bad strat. Um, 
I specifically remember I did watch an episode of the Generation 3 anime where I think Ash's Swellow learns Aerial Ace, if I'm not mistaken, and that was like a big deal. And Aerial Ace is a great move. Our Salamence is actually going to know Aerial Ace, which is delightful. Just delightful. Everything's delightful. That's why I love these games. It's so lovely. Because, you know, I kind of like, you know, dark and brooding stuff. Maybe something a little more, uh, you know, mature, violent, if you will. Um, but not a lot, honestly. Like... I don't really like shooters or anything, like, scary. I don't know why I almost ran. Um, I would like to play The Last of Us. Um, I've never played that. Um, and next on my video game list to try is Ghost of Tsushima. So that'll definitely be different than I'm used to. But I often just enjoy kind of like, you know, the, uh, the chill, whimsical vibes of like a Pokemon or like a like a Final Fantasy, even, or, um, I'm playing Breath of the Wild, which is great, um, I don't need anything too crazy when it comes to my video games. I do love a good story, though, um, and, uh, I guess that's why I love Kingdom Hearts so much, because it's such a great mix of both, because <laughs> there's just, like, this very, like, way darker story than you would ever think. Um, but also Mickey Mouse is there, which is delightful. Oh, you're a Stardew Valley girly now. I would love to play Stardew Valley. I just keep hearing nothing but good things about that. I really need to give it a try. Um, because I enjoy Animal Crossing a lot, and I imagine it's a kind of a similar vibe to that. Um... Because uh, I, I never played Animal Crossing like back in the day, like when it first came out. I think it first came out on the GameCube. Um, but, funny story, um, a friend of mine, he like pre-ordered the new Animal Crossing for Switch. Um, uh, and this was, you know, back in 2020, I think. And he was accidentally sent an extra copy. So then he just gave it to me, which was great um, and very nice of him. <laughs> and then I started playing it and I'm just like, this is so chill and so fun. And uh, that's how I became a, uh, an Animal Crossing enjoyer. Um, you also loved Undertale. I hear Undertale is great. Um, from what I see, what I've seen, I really enjoy the. I I really like what they kind of have started to do now is that they will do like, the retro, like the modern retro graphics where it's like, this game is a modern game but it's going to have like old school, like pixel graphics, um, and some of those games can just look so good to me. Um, and like, you know, I feel like a lot of people talk about, um, Pokemon maybe doing a game like that, where, um, they go back more to this kind of style, like you're seeing, um, where it's like top-down, pixel graphics, sprite art, um, I think I would enjoy that a lot, is if, if Pokemon decided to do that again. Um... But we'll see. We'll see what they end up doing. I'm sure that they are just going to try to continue forever and have, like, you know, like, a bunch of different offshoots um, and trying to, like, you know, have their, like, 3D games and have their um, pixel games and have their Legends games. Um, let's see. Oh, never mind. I can't make the red flute yet. I was just being ambitious. Da, 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 da. Let's see. We're going to have to replenish those power points here in a second. That was 172. Hello? Okay. Dude. Ash will forever be 10. Hey. 
Must be nice, dude. Honestly. I'd like to forever be 10. Ah, maybe not. <laughs> it does sound nice, though, doesn't it? Um, but, uh, yeah, I know that, uh, but Ash has retired from the anime, hasn't he? I mean, Pokemon will forever lost new gens. You are so right about that, my friend. As long as there are people on this earth to consume it, um, there will be Pokemon games. All right, so Starmie is getting up to 176. Um, um, yeah, I mean, I actually don't know, Happy. So hopefully, I didn't. Hopefully, I didn't spoil that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I heard that Ash might not be like the main protagonist anymore um, of the Pokemon anime. Let's see here. Okay, we're doing all right. Let me just pop over here right quick. Oh, I'm sure Ziggy has picked up an item or two. All right, let's see. <laughs> what even is Pokemon without Ash? I mean, hey, they're gonna find out. They are gonna find out. Ooh, nice, a super potion, that's helpful. Um, all right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get Starmie to 200 special attack. Um, let's see. Because we're at 180 right now. That should be no time at all. Um, okay, that's annoying. I'm gonna turn off music for just a little bit because we're gonna oh wow look at that spinda it's like it like it just drank a lot of juice <laughs> it's got red all around its mouth all right it is really nice that we can just knock out these slugmas with a water gun so we can just save that powerpoint there um, and again, um, I will say, we are raising these Pokemon to level 50. Um, so that is going to be what we shoot for. Because you can raise your Pokemon to level 100 for the Battle Frontier. Um, but that just feels a little bit punishing to me. And I don't want to do that forever. Oh yeah, and something else I've said <laughs> is... Um, you can go... Um, at each battle facility in the Battle Frontier, you can get a silver symbol, and then you can get a gold symbol. Uh, we're just going to go for the silver symbols, because the gold symbols, again, is, is, uh, is, is pretty punishing, and could be maybe not even fun to do. <laughs> so, um, and I mean, I don't know. I guess I always reserve the right to kind of like resurrect the Battle, Front Battle Frontier series if I want to. Um, and if we really want to try to go for the gold symbols with this squad. Um, but uh, that's not that's not my plan. <laughs> yes, Spinda needs to get off the juice. That Spinda had a juice stain as well. Um, let's see. Da -da -do. Wow, all of these Spindas are just... Just lapping up the Hawaiian punch. There we go. There we go. Okay, so this will be our last Spinda for now, because this will get us to... I like, don't know what to do with my hand right now. Um, this gets us to 200 special attack EVs. Um, and again, you can do 255 for one specific stat. So... Um, I'll probably end up doing a little more special attack, but I just want to make sure I at least got 200. Um, but one thing I am actually going to do for now is I want to uh, show this off, because we haven't really done any of these trainer rematches on Match Call. And as you can see, we can fight Brawly here, which is super cool. Um, we can fight Tate and Liza too, oh my gosh. Um, I might save that. Um, that might be good to help the squad level up once they're stronger. Um, 
But here, we can fight Aroma Lady Rose, Ruin Maniac Dusty, there's a bunch of other ones, Cool Trainer Brook. Ah, Route 111, that's actually really close. Let's pop over there, actually. Um, well, I, yeah, I think she's right here. Okay, that's cool. So, let me go this way, maybe. Perfect. Okay, so I believe this is Cool Trainer Brook. Um, what I'm going to do here is I am just going to switch train Stevie just to get him a few levels. Um, because it's just going to be way easier to EV train our Bel our Matang rather than a Beldum. So here I can switch train Beldum with uh, Altaria and we can just get him a couple levels. We can get ourselves a few extra dollars as well. Um, ooh, will there be a rematch episode? Maybe. Maybe. Um, uh, because once we max out all the EVs that we want to, um, we can uh, just kind of start training our Battle Frontier squad in any way we want to. Um, like, I was going to maybe take them to the Trick House um, because we've done, we haven't done all of those yet. Um, I was going to rematch the gym leaders that could be really fun um that's actually a really good idea happy um oh i missed fly come on it is kind of annoying that blaine only has two two turn moves even though sky attack super strong does sound like fun indeed um yeah once we're done with the tedium of getting all the EVs right. Um, let's see. We'll do that again. Ba -da 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 -da. And you can, like, rematch these people several times. Like, as you can see, her Pokemon are at level 26. I think when we first fought her, she was probably in, like, I don't know, like, the early 20s or the late teens. Um, don't burn me. Just don't do it. Thank you. Um... But you can rematch these people, I think, two or three times, and their Pokemon will continue to get stronger um, as they go. And then finally, Roselia. Um, let me think about this, actually. Because um, I have what EVs each Pokemon gives out in Generation 3. Um, Roselia does indeed give out one special attack EV. So I might try uh no it's fine i'm just gonna switch trains to stevie um because starmie doesn't really have the moves doesn't really have the moves right now and that is okay um we yachty that looks really good sorry i just found that old tab um okay hopefully this can get stevie to six to 15 that'd be good that'd be good for us i think do, 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 do. Magical Leaf, that ain't gonna do nothing. I think that literally did one damage. We double resist that as an Altaria. Let alone one that's 40 levels higher. There we go. Yeah, it's funny because since Blaine was in the daycare for so long, there we go, Stevie gets a, picks up a level. Um, since Blaine was in the daycare for so long, um, it's at level 64. The rest of our original squad is right around level 50. Um, let's see. It is such an interesting detail. It's just, it's great. I, I love, I love interesting little details. You know me. Um, there was someone else here on Route 111. Because there's Dusty, but he's in the Ah, yes, I think he is. This other guy is just right down here. Oopsie daisy. Okay. Ah, come on! And we'll just get... We'll do Stevie again. He's just so hard to train. There we go. So we can rematch this fella. Ah, he's got a Manetric. That is absolutely terrible for an Altaria to fight, but we're going to try. <laughs> um, I'm just going to try to use Sky Attack. <laughs> See if I can just... Don't paralyze me. Okay, great. 
Wow, I love that animation. You just don't see it in this game. Okay, it still knocks it out. Um, oh yeah, absolutely. Um, Whalener. Uh, let's see what Arrow has. Let's get Arrow a level if we can. Don't confuse me. Okay, <laughs> this is just me saying, don't give me the status condition. Um, all right, Perfecto and Makuhita, that's simple. Um, that's an HP. Um, I'll actually, uh, Theldum probably won't be able to do it still. Yeah, it's double my level. Oops, no, I mean, it's fine. Stormy can do this, it's not a big deal. I actually do have HP as like a little secondary thing for Stormy, so that actually works out. Picks up two HP EVs, love it. Um, all right, so now I wanna, I wanna make a little stop. Oh, I love our frontier pass. As you can see, we have no symbols, but that's okay. We have not done anything yet. Um, I am going to buy Oopsie. I'm gonna buy a vitamin. Excuse me. Oh my goodness. And we have this uh, this fella at the Slateport Market that can uh, sell us these vitamins down here. Um, I know that you can pick them up in the Battle Frontier in exchange for battle points. Um, oh, I'm at the wrong stall. Pardon me. It's this fella. There you are, the energy guru. Um, I am just gonna go ahead and buy, buy a Carbos. I'd love to buy more than one, but one is all I can afford. Um, that's kind of another reason why I wanna do some match call, um, is so I can maybe buy some uh, vitamins. Uh, let's see, I'll give that to Arrow. Cause we need those speed EVs. 34. Perfection. Um, well, folks, I'm probably going to call it uh, for now. This has been really delightful. Happy, thank you for joining me on this journey today. Um, it's been great speaking with you. It's really kind of given me a little, a little life. I was very dead um, when I started this stream today, but this has just been so fun. Um, I really appreciate you and anyone else uh, watching after the fact. Uh, I appreciate you watching and enjoying this little Battle Frontier journey we're going on. It's uh, it's super fun. And a really cool feature of this game that I really wanted to, um, uh, you know, showcase. It was a great stream. It was a great stream, wasn't it? Um, but anyway, uh, you enjoy dinner. I'll enjoy my dinner. Everyone enjoy their week. Um, I will see you. I'll probably be back tomorrow, honestly. Um, and with that... Have a great day. Peace, kids.